Right, you bastards, thanks for tuning in to episode 2 of my story. To immediately into the incentives. Had to cash from the store robbery, but didn't have anywhere to sleep, so I had to shack up in a pile of crap car overnight. I needed to figure out how I would start off my new life, so I went into a place where I thought I could meet some people who I could do some jobs for. Yes, it was a strip club. Don't judge me, you bastards. Divorced, wife shagged a milkman, remember? Cut me a little bit of a break. Now, after a couple of hours of admiring the very lovely view and having a drink, I overheard some local gangsters saying how they could. They had tracked a couple of cars the other night and took them to this local mod shop, and they've just sold them one, no hassle. I thought, I could do this. There it was, the plan. That evening, I psyched myself up with a couple of bevies and set out to find a car to steal. There's me driving off the ladder up. And there it was. I decided just to rush it and see what happened. I had my armor out just in case. So I did it. I rushed it and I pulled him out and I drove off. Easy as that. As I was speeding the way, that feeling hit me again. I was absolutely buzzing. Drove it through the mod shop. Got a decent wedge of cash. So easy. So I did it again. The same mod shop turned me away. But I soon found another one and flogged that one too. Did it a couple more times. Soon enough, I was pushing 15k. Absolutely laughing him for a nice work. The last car I went for was a bit of a different matter. I didn't need to do it, but I just got carried away. The bloke didn't even put up a fight, but I just snapped and absolutely battered him. Like the lorry driver back in the country. I battered him with my hammer. It was bloody brilliant. I drove away with the car, and I knew that I had to call it for violence. And I knew that if there was a place you could get paid to be violent, it was Los Santos. A few days later, I was chilling in the strippery again. I actually had the cash for a couple of dances. Always decent. This bird's a bit of a gun, didn't she? Now, I got chatting to this bloke, and the conversation quickly turned to work. I already said that I was keen to get involved if the money was right. And bloody hell, the money was right. But I had to do something right done, or even dare think I would do. Shoot a guy. Turns out there was a bit of gang related handbags between these two blokes, and he wanted to send a message. My initial instinct was to say no, but when he mentioned 20k, bloody 20k, I said yeah. Bastard knew how to get me as soon as he saw me. Shouldn't have worn the crappy suit. Made me look desperate for money. He told me where his plate would be. So I went down there to do it. He was with a couple of other mates. I guess Clara wouldn't be an issue. So I shot him. All three of them. Over and over until I knew they had died. They put up a bit of a fight. But I got away. <laughs> look at me here. New suit. Haircut. Swanky apartment rented of course, and all it took was a few shots of a gun and a few car jackings. I was good at this, I wanted more of it, the money, the life, the girls, I wanted all that, and I wanted to go up and up. It would have got out back when you see, my phone was regularly ringing, I was doing hit after hit after hit. This bloke here, this bloke here, quite a good shot that one to be fair. I was even doing a bit of property destruction intimidation that it got more and more elaborate as well, sniper rifle, sticky bomb on the floor, waiting for the car to go past, blow it up. I got really good at it. And each time the phone rang, more money was coming in, and the more money and more money I got, the better I felt. I was getting addicted to this life. Nothing would stop me. That's what I told myself anyway next time. I did something bad that night. Real bad. I ain't felt ashamed or regretted anything I'd done up until that point. But then that happened, and that's when the wheels really started to come off. Dropped myself into unconsciousness that night. Couldn't even look myself in the mirror. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I really enjoyed putting this one together, even more so than the last one I think. And hopefully you like how the story's been developing. If you do enjoy it, please give a like or leave a comment, and if you're interested in seeing where the story goes further, please subscribe, and episode 3 will be with you in the near future, hopefully. There might be a bit of a delay because I'm in my final uni exam, so I've got to sort of actually revise and stuff, unfortunately. But yeah, so that's me, follow me on Twitter, and I'll keep you up to date anyway. So, have a good one. Peace out.